couple of days ago, guys, I made a video regarding Team of the Season. This was Team of the Season Most Consistent, which is a publicly voted for Team of the Season. Um, I showed you stuff from the forums where you guys could vote for your players who you think deserves to be in. I also showed you the first draft of the Silver, the Bronze, and of course, the most important one for me, the Gold Most Consistent Team of the Season. Now, I also said in that video, when this gets upgraded to like a second draft and a third draft and whatnot, I would always make a quick little video for you uh, as like an extra video to update you on what that is. So it would appear that we now have a draft number two, definitely for the gold. I need to have a quick look to see if the silvers and the bronzes are there as well. So let's take a very quick look at the gold most consistent team of the season, draft number two, and see what changes have been made. So going from the first draft to the second draft, in terms of goalkeepers, we're seeing absolutely no change. It looks as though Julio Cesar and Ariola are two of the favourites to get the spot for the most consistent tots. The first change we actually see here, guys, is uh, in the defender slot. Now, uh, High Saj, the right back in the Serie A playing for Napoli, has been replaced. And in draft number two, we have now got an Argentine right back going by the name of Bufferini, who is someone that I've used his regular version of before, and he's very, very good. That's quite exciting to have a 93 pace and 88 physical right back who's Argentine. I'm looking forward to that. In the next set of defenders, we've actually had two changes from draft one to draft two. Simon and Schmelzer have been replaced uh, by Van Dyke and Suchi, or Sushi, however you say his name. Again, these to me are really good changes. Van Dyke, a Premier League centre-back, 72 pace, great physical, great defending. And then just look how overpowered that Suchi looks. 81 pace, 83 defending and 87 physical. I'll take some of that. And of course, don't forget guys, these are only made up stats by people on the forum at the moment. Uh, the final stats would be chosen once the full team of the season has been decided. The first section of midfielders, the lower rated guys, uh, will, it looks like, stay the same from draft one to draft two. We've still got Kante, Falhyber, Derida and Sosa. However, when we look at the whole Higher rated midfielders, the likes of Zagoev, Dembele, Mota and Busquets, we actually have one change from draft one to draft two, and that change is Thiago Mota leaving us, which I wouldn't mind too much, he's not a very pacey player, and in comes Claudio Marchisio, the Italian playing for Juventus, and I'm not going to lie, I would absolutely love this card, he would have nearly 80 plus stats in every single category, that would be pretty sick. Now we move on to the midfielders, or you could call them wingers, um, previously we had Ruiz, Orsic and Promes, and the only change from draft 1 to draft 2 here, is that Orsic has actually been removed, so currently the only wide players in the team of the season most consistent would be Ruiz and Promes. And of course, well, we've had one player removed, so we need to add it into another area. And there is a new attacker coming into play. In the first draft for most consistent tots, we had Ilicic and McCormack as the two strikers. Now, these two still feature, but we've added another player, an Argentine striker who goes by the name of Funes Mori. Now, of course, he's not actually the same person as the Everton centre-back Funes Mori, but I'm pretty sure he's his twin brother. Again, to me, this is a pretty good change. I like the look of this Argentine striker, and let's face it, he's going to be a nice, cheap tots. So this is your full draft number two for most consistent team of the season, gold. At the time of me making this video, the bronze and the silver hadn't quite yet been updated. But there have been, of course, these five changes in the main gold section, which is the ones that I care about the most. Uh, I guess they will be the most used players, of course. So this was just a quick little update video. I'm going to be doing this when, uh, of course, the next draft comes out, draft number three. I'm not sure how many drafts there are going to be. But if there are enough changes, I will, of course, make little update videos uh, only as extras for you guys. I wouldn't do this as a main video for the day. Not now that we've got the main TOTS video out of the way, of course. So if you wouldn't mind smashing a thumbs up on the video for the information that I've provided, that would be absolutely awesome. And of course, don't forget, there will be a link to the forum down below in the description. If you do want to have your vote, there is still plenty of time for you to do so. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I will catch you next time. Peace.